Hello, my name is Graham Townsend and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my appearance on The Chase on ITV in 2014 and I hope you find it at least a little bit interesting. So I've done two um, shows with Channel 4 on 15 to 1 and the first time I was on that I got to the, um, I actually won the round I was in so I got invited back. Um, I didn't get enough points to be on the finals board so I just got an invite to go back for a second time but on the second time I was on the, uh, 15 to 1 I, uh, I got knocked out in the first uh, round, I got both questions wrong so that was the end of that but the best thing about being on 15 to 1 was it was like a proper quizzes show it's like respected amongst the quiz world so and I knocked the champion out, the defending champion out in the first appearance as well it's sort of like a combination of me knocking him out and him knocking himself out because he got a bit cocky and instead of like nominating other players he took questions and he got to the point where he had one life left and I knocked him out by nominating him so that was quite funny. Uh, the, 15, uh, the other one, the number one were a bit sort of, it were a one hit wonder, one shot, one series but the, and he had to try and finish in position number one and I finished position number three but the guy who, who won it he went on to win Mastermind, a guy called Jeff Thomas, who I didn't realise was, was so clever at the time. He comes from the same village as some of my best friends, so that was quite funny as well. So I decided that I wanted to um, go for something a bit more commercial, and people kept saying, well, have you tried Who Wants To Be A Millionaire and all the various TV ones, and I liked The Chase, I watched it regularly, so I thought I'll apply for The Chase. So I've been applied for the chase, I had to um, fill out the application for obviously and then I went for a, quite a stringent audition in uh, Double Tree Hilton at Leeds and it lasted about an hour and it was quite testy um, and very interesting and there were a couple of interesting applicants as well. One I haven't got a clue about what she run about, I think she just wanted to be on TV. So um, after we'd been through the test they put, so told us to go to a room and suggested that they'd come back out once they'd decided what they were going to do and let us know if any of us had been successful in his application. So when he came back to tell us all, they said there was only one successful applicant and that applicant was me, so I was really, really pleased about that and um, I was fairly confident it would have been me, but you just never know with stuff like that. So after the audition, um, I had to wait for the date to come through and uh, it was a bit of a strange situation because of the fact that I had to go to hospital, been had a couple of operations, and on the day I came out of hospital the second time, uh, sorry, the first time, should I say, um, the phone call saying, can I come to London within about two or three days? And I just said, well, no, I can't, because of the fact that I just come out of hospital an hour ago. And um, he said, well, that's fine, um, and we'll try and fit you into the second half of the series later in the year. And I was a little bit concerned, I thought I might have missed my chance of being on the programme. But as it turned out, we did get back to me and I got to record the programme later in the year. On the day of the show itself, they came to pick us up from the hotel um, about half past seven in the morning. And at that point, that's when I met my teammates for the first time because they were staying in the same hotel. I had no idea who they were or anything until then. So, um, so we drove us to the studio and then we had to go through all the rules and we all got to have a little bit of a chat and they explained which parts of the building we could go into and which ones we couldn't go to because we didn't want us to see who the chaser was going to be before we actually um, did the filming. Um, it was a very long day um, and they uh, had a problem with the lighting so it delayed a little bit. It took about four hours altogether to film it. Um, I think I was more nervous on the bit when I was stood in front of Bradley doing the one minute question and answer, answer session than I was when I did the actual chase against Anne simply because of the fact that I had the board to lean against when I was trying to answer the questions. Um, um, on the uh, in front of the board, um, but luckily I managed to get through that part of it unscathed. Took three thousand back, and then it got to the point where Richard, who was the last player, was the only man left with me, and I was praying that he would get through. Something because of the fact I got three thousand in the pot, and I was hoping we'd be playing for a little bit more money than that. And as it worked out, it was lucky for us that Richard's last question, which he needed to get right, scraped through. It had gone for forty-seven thousand. It was on American political history or something like that and it was something he studied at college or university so it just felt right for him really and he got it right and obviously ended up playing for £50,000 in the last round and at that stage it was a case of thinking well how many points can we get on the board hopefully we'll get enough to be able to make it reasonable and give us a reasonable chance of winning we managed to get 17 points 
and I think we both felt that that would be touch and go. If the chase had a little bit of an off day, we may have a chance of winning. As it turned out, we did have enough points on the board. Um, she struggled a little bit towards the end, and when she got to the point where she had 15, but there was only two or three seconds left, I knew in my own mind that we were going to do it, and I knew she wouldn't be able to get two more questions right in such a short, short space of time. So, and that was an absolutely fantastic feeling to be able to, you know, appear on national TV and win something like that. You know, it might be you know, a chance that I'll ever get again. So, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant on the day, and um, you know, if you get a chance to do it, I recommend you know try and go for it.